Carnage. They sit catty corner at the back of the bar, full of poetry and alcohol. Romantics left empty, share stories, heartache, and anguish. Raw and honest, hearts exposed. They take turns, slice slivers of heart, and place them on the bar. Tales of a slow death, lasting too long. Dream, drama of a love that shattered spirits. Mourning a companion lost in a bottle. Memory of a marriage held together with strings. They reminisce all night. Slice slivers of heart until the bar is red, covered in blood. Carnage of lonely souls. She looks into his blue eyes, which reveal behind sorrow, passion. Words evaporate. Look, leaning in, she whispers, kiss me. Lost in each other, for a moment they are healed. Wow. Well, I get 15 minutes so you can't clap, sorry. I'll get shooed off before I finish. I'm sorry. It's all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and thanks to Liza and Hien who came all the way out. And thanks to you all of you, but they came in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the painter. She paints when her love sleeps in darkness with acrylics on canvas. She splashes the emotions of her temptations, rinsing her brushes in teardrops, mixing pigments and heartbreak. Moonlight spills through the window. She turns her sins into painted trees and hangs them next to the desk where she works, a memory. She prays in church forgiveness. Flowers begin to push up hope. Instill hope, renewal, resist going back to darkness. Turn this day into hope. Confession does not cure her longing. Guided by her harlot heart, she searches her phone messages, looking for her next paramour. Chores. It's not the rain. I know it. It's these birds that make that noise. <laughs> I hear them, like your expectations of me, always wanting more. That noise as I go through the motion on that old bed of ours. In my head, it is your laundry that I do tonight. The heavy load, shoving your soiled garments into the machine. Watching your gyrations, your spin cycle. Oh, those damn birds. They're core, core, core. How can I compose myself in this clamoring silence? <laughs> she is barefoot. We walk a million miles from Santa Fe. Our imagination steel buckets crammed with Dixieland jazz. Metals bright and dark are absorbed by the jewels that glow in the Appalachian forest. Floating on Tugaloo River, a long wooden boat with captivating designs looks dangerous, stark, and mystical. Out of thin air, an apricot ribbon ruffles the night sky. Elegant reason for my invitation. Everyone's dancing. Later, it starts to rain kerosene. Canvas blank. What we remember begins in the paint and the brushes we choose. Acrylics, watercolors, all different. Some are thick skins, others fragile. Days go by and portraits emerge. What you thought was invisible now requires touch. What you thought you could accomplish now requires rain. Time passes. If able to start over, how would this river run? You sew clothing from candlesticks. Light up your creation and paint it while it burns. Cover charge. Broken souls gather, buy the two drink minimum, look for romantic remedies. Your advice is don't write about life, write about art. I say paint me black. Splatter your pigment on my wedding dress. You are a beer-soaked bar room and I am an engagement ring lost on the floor. We fred a sad tap dance in the curb's holy water. 
You are kisses, smack sold on the Lower East Side. You say you speak fiction, but your heart is exposed. I tell true stories and you are forewarned. <laughs> <laughs> Awaken. You wake up in the middle of the night, rain beats against the window. Shoreline, rocks, balcony, palms. If time was to stop, this moment your last, would you know all elegance created? Do you understand everything is important? The bird calls, water whispers morning. This could be your last memory. Paper darts. And I always want to add Minneapolis, Minnesota, AWP, but I mean, shh. Anyway, to a TMI. Paper darts. Just beyond us, outside the gallery space, freight trains rumbled and hummed, cuddled around burning wood, thighs pressed against each other, orange heat crackled and sparked. Intoxicated by nature's fumes, I fell in love with a conversation and a man I will never see again. She lost her love in a park overlooking the river. Reasons unknown overwhelm, stifle her. Lamentations and tears alienate her further into the abyss. No one hears her negotiations. Drowned out, absent lovers, alone she walks the beaches, unseen her pain. Tomorrow will be the test. Only heartbreak is guaranteed. Nothing will help her. Imagination can be a witch, originated from a kiss. Reactions are overrated. Only the broken join in the chorus. Later, they walk naked in the streets. It lives in the basement. Loneliness crept up the stairs, stood in a corner, observed the situation, searched for the easiest to infiltrate, curled around her unknown. Smoke unseen, loneliness holds her tight. She thinks its warmth is comforting. Quickly, she is left abandoned, alone, trying to make snow angels at midnight. Be my garden. I have to cleanse myself, dig myself into the dirt, sleep with daffodil bulbs, and breathe the earth. I want to feel you again, to know you like I know the dirt in my garden. I know where last season's tomatoes grew, where the strawberries sent its runners through the hot peppers and the eggplants. I want to introduce you to the praying mantis and the ladybugs, so they could protect you from parasites. I want you soil ready, so I could dig my hands in, plant a fragile seedling, water it, and watch it grow. In my dreams, just for fun. I never wanted to be Madonna. I love getting to the groove and desperately seeking Susan, but when the Madonna craze first struck and everybody wore black leggings and teased their hair, I never did. I never wanted to be Madonna. I want to be Beyonce. <laughs> I want a nickname like Sasha Fierce. I want to shake my booty on TV for all the world to see. I want to be drunk in love, and I want someone to put a ring on it. <laughs> Beyonce never had to publish a book called Sex. She's married to a Renaissance man who admitted in Vanity Fair that he would never hooked up with a fine church girl like her if he did not have his mad blink success. Yeah, I want to be Beyonce. Vacation on a yacht off Monaco with my baby and my man in tow. But I'm not Beyonce. I'm the girl. I'm the girl who survived New York City in the 70s, played in city parks while dealers dealt dope. Foiled packets, plastic baggies, unafraid of consequences. I'm the girl who rode graffiti covered subway cars. Colorful sunlight passed through spray painted windows like cathedral stained glass. I'm the girl who hid in closets. When my parents' frustrations led to arguments, loud fights, 
My father, so angry, he pulled out a knife and threatened to kill the entire family. I'm the girl too tall until college, when the boys caught up. Five foot ten inches in eighth grade, long and lanky kids call me tree. I'm the girl high school freshman who grew up fast. My sister on angel dust, parents preoccupied, family fell apart, I grew up alone. I'm the girl waiting at the bus stop for my father to return home from work, happy when he smiles and holds my hand and walks me home. This is called Beginnings and it's a Cento, and Phil hates it. It's, it's an academic poem. <laughs> Unseen by each other, we have been transformed. And the contradictions that emerge that hold the world in place abstracts you in some way from nature. You stand in this morning's shadows more common than the wind. It is time to be thankful for the breath we feel somehow between us. Now is the morning of that day. We will live in the light like the genius of flowers, known only to few in certain high mountains. Get two more of them out of here. Enjoy them all in here. This is called art. It was art. Abstract and alcohol fueled. Graffiti covet and dangerous. Surreal. Savage beauty of Alexander McQueen. Spray paint guns aimed at a white dress. Fragile. An evening gown made of peonies and roses disintegrating. You say don't write about life, write about art. Was it not art? The finger painting of my hair, the pigment of your eyes, the sculpture of my thigh. You say, don't write about life, write about art. Was it not art, my solo performance, when you left me nude in the gallery covered in snow? This is called Sunken Ship. Fog made of salt, tears of mermaids, voices rising from deepest sorrow, carry me towards daylight. Fuse myself whole again. Wipe my tears with beach fire coals. Lose me on the shoreline. Let me become food for seagulls. Thank you, everybody.